Hudson. What time is it? Do you know what time it is? It's five oh eight. Five oh eight in the AM. Packing up the house and getting ready to head to Belize. So this was our first trip to Belize. First trip to Belize. All right, here it is, 5 a.m. We are finally loading up. It's uh, getting close to time for us to be at the airport. Headed to Belize today. We've begun for, uh, we'll be gone for 10 days. There you go, you're all set, thanks. Once we made it to Belize City, we took the uh, Maya Airlines and it was a small plane for about eight people. Hey. <laughs> and they just kind of hop from island to island, dropping people off to wherever their final destination would be. I've been on a plane a bunch, but never where I've had to take a plane, like a small plane, to another island, which I thought that was kind of cool. We are the Pruitts, and in 2019, we decided to leave the comfortable life we have grown to know and set sail for a once-in-a-lifetime family adventure to experience the unknown together. We hope to learn about ourselves and new cultures. We hope to find faraway places that we've always dreamt of and to give back to the communities that welcome us. We hope to make memories that will last a lifetime and grow closer together as a family in the process. Join our family, Hudson, Denver, Susan, and Clay, as we travel together and share our tales from a passport. I'm ready to just relax at the bar. <laughs> well, after a full day of travel, and I think we've just arrived here at uh, the resort. We've got a pool, we've got some drinks, we've got an ocean in front of us. Uh, I think it's about time to go grab a drink and just, I think we've earned some time to relax. So let's go check it out. We've uh, arrived in Belize. We're going to take the next step, which is provisioning. My wife excels at this stuff. And uh, so we're headed to the grocery store right now. We've got kind of a short list, of things we're gonna grab. Uh, and our mode of transportation for the day happens to be bicycles. So we are rolling. We've made it, let's see what we can find. So what are we going for? Mojitos and ceviche. Lots of limes. One very scary cucumber. And I just dropped a bunch of eggs. We are provisioning for our five day stay at the Ocean Club where we have a full kitchen and refrigerator. So when we were riding our bikes down to the grocery store, I saw this little sign and it said, sweet treats down this dirt road. And um, I just remember thinking we need to swing by there. It said homemade chocolates, which I know Belize is known for their chocolates. And so we went down the dirt road on the way back and we stumbled upon this little secret door right over here and a little sign that said treats. And we went in and found homemade treats um, from an immigrant from Russia. And anyways, I'm looking forward to going back and eating them because they look divine. All right, 
right, this morning it's kind of a big morning. Today we are heading out. We are trying to get our open water certification for scuba diving. We are leaving this morning. Really my first time ever scuba diving, um, at least in something other than a pool. I know for my children, same thing. I'm pretty certain it's the same for my wife. So should have some good experiences, bringing some cameras to, to get some footage. See what we get. We, uh, we ended up getting this trip to Belize. For Red Shoe Shindig, Ronald McDonald House Charities, two years ago. When we bought it, I remember thinking, wouldn't it be cool for us to get our scuba certification in Belize? And so that's exactly what we did. We did our open water dives here in Belize. And the cool thing about it was, is not only did the two of us get certified, our children also got certified, which our youngest uh, is Hudson. He's, <laughs> he's 12 years old. The oldest is uh, Denver. He's 15 years old. Eo, barracuda, you know, like this, thick slice, or like this, big mouth. Watching the kids just to see how they do and how they'd react in certain yeah. situations. And we're so happy with how they reacted. And the skills, I mean, there were some skills. I mean, none of them were really difficult, but you know, you're still kind of wondering how, how if the, the kids are gonna be able to comprehend and how well they're gonna do. Yeah. And I mean, like uh, clearing their masks, no problem. Sharing air, no problem. Doing the ascension to the top, no problem. Uh, you know, they were really good. Of course, the instructor we have, Nydia, with Go See, she was amazing. We'd highly suggest Go See, Go see. Um, for any type of aquatic adventures mm -hmm. that you're looking for whenever you come to Belize. They are top notch. They were very professional in handling our referral process coming from the United States into Belize for the open water. And Nydia was our instructor, and she was so good with the kids, too. Mm -hmm. We went scuba diving for our first time open water. We went down probably about 40 feet or so. When you ascend to that air, you have to like go ah, all the way up to the surface. And then once I got up to the top, I had to inflate my BC like with my own air. So I had to like blow it up. They had I mean, the best time. Like Hudson, we had the best time. We did have the best time. But Hudson with his singing, like yeah. he was singing and, yeah. and dancing and, and you know, he was pointing out fish. Angel fish. We see a turtle and he's like doing this. Like come over. But he's really just getting stuff out of his face. Remove mask, clear mask, dive up if you're low on oxygen and doing oh, and there's one more. Oh, sure. It's like doing the... My first job is done. It's not for lunch. What was the coolest thing you saw? Royal, royal angel fish. A queen angel fish? Is that what it was? I call it royal. Because it's royal. royal. Even though the royalty color is purple. Oh. Okay. I thought it was amazing and the kids did not. <laughs> they went down to 45 feet, so they exceeded their dive limit. There was one moment um, that I was kind of above everybody and we were on this big slope dive and I just remember looking down thinking, I cannot believe my family. We are 70 feet underwater and we are seeing some of the most beautiful things in nature that I've ever seen in my life. And it just was kind of one of those aha moments in life where I thought I need to savor this moment and just think about how remarkable it was, because it will be one of my all-time greatest moments in my life, for sure. Well, and, and I will say for me, the, the diving, it's opened up a whole new, like, whole destination new travel, like a whole new world, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. a whole new world for us. <laughs> I 
made it to the city. Made it to the village of Palencia, right? Uh-huh. Check out some shops and things while we're here. See what Palencia has to offer. Um, see if I can get some shots and we'll have a look around. I love, it. definitely Placencia is not like your local tourists. You really feel like you're part of the community. The people of Belize do not have much, but have more joy than anyone I've ever seen. And they are so polite and kind, and they are, they are great. Welcoming. Hosts. Yeah, they're great hosts. They Very love welcoming. to show off their country, and I see why. I mean, it had a lot of local artists with uh, wood carvings and paintings and uh, jewelry, things like that you could find in, in some smaller stands. And some really cool stuff. Uh, my son got a necklace that had an alligator tooth on it. Um, I got some um, lionfish. Homemade, like handmade lionfish earrings made out of lionfish fins. Okay, so tonight we're having an extra special dinner. And um, what makes it extra special is that the fish for our fish tacos was actually caught by Denver. And he's been spending his mornings and evenings and any free time that he gets trying to catch some fish. And he has done a very good job and caught two wonderful snappers. Actually, he's caught several, but these are the two that we're gonna cook tonight. And so we went into the local town of Palencia and we provisioned for our fish tacos. We have homemade tortillas that we bought off the street. We have some cheese, some lime juice that's gonna go into our salsa. Here we go, let's cook up some fish tacos. Thank you, Denver. Have you ever seen the cartoon that has the little the little island with the one, one palm tree that's that's up there? I mean, that's kind of what this was yeah. like. I mean, it had a few more palm trees. It had six instead of one, so there's that. Um, but it had the best diving. <laughs> yeah, that was where was we were had the, the best diving. We saw and, sharks, stingrays. We went over to where they were cleaning the oh, conch. Yeah. And um, yes, yeah, so the, the fishermen, and they say they stay out for a couple of weeks. So mm -hmm. rather than you know keeping the fish and cleaning them whenever they get back, they'll clean them at the end of the day. Well, as they clean them, uh, then a lot of nurse sharks and, and uh, eagle rays and southern rays, they'll all kind of gather around and start eating you know, all the scraps that they're throwing overboard. And so in that little time, I mean, I, I bet we saw like uh, wow. 10 nurse sharks and probably the same amount of eagle rays and southern rays uh, that in that small little area. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was, everybody was there. I mean, that was, that was, we were just snorkeling at this point. Uh, that uh, it was uh, the end of the day. So the scuba diving was done and we were just snorkeling. Yeah. And then the next day, we weren't able to go scuba diving again, so we took a little day trip and did some hand fishing, and we went and did some snorkeling and a lot of swimming, and that was at... Moho Cay. Moho Cay. Yeah. And um, that was, it's a private-owned island. It wasn't on the reserve, um, but it was beautiful, great hammocks, great had, food. We had fresh coconuts off the trees, which yeah. it was always just a good experience. Yeah. It, yeah. So. And that was a fun day. That was um, that was a relatively simple day. That was a relatively relaxed day versus what the scuba diving and everything was. Mm -hmm. uh, our guide, Lewis, was great. Thank right. you, Belize. We enjoyed your uh, hospitality, and we look forward to coming back soon. Absolutely. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, it's a sleeping giant which sleeps 24 hours, you know? Um, its forehead is like the Goliath, you know, and nose, mouth, huge belly, and foot just lies all the way from the back from the mountain.